Hi everyone, this is Nicole here and this week we're going to continue looking at measuring. We're going to be looking at volume and capacity and that just means how much space there is inside a container. So we are going to be using jugs today and we're going to be looking at millilitres and litres. So millilitres we write as ml and litres we write as l. So a thousand millilitres in, is in one litre and we're going to be measuring water today. So your jug look, might look a little bit similar to mine. Make sure you're looking at the milliliter side and check what your um, measuring jug goes up in. So mine goes up in hundreds, yours might be a little bit different. So when we are measuring, you need to check where you're going. So each line points to exactly the measurement. So this line here points to 100. And it's very hard to see the sun jug because they do get worn out. But let's go do some measuring. So this is the measuring jug I'm going to use today. And as you can see, a little bit clearer now, it does go up in hundreds. So first of all, I'm going to measure 200 millilitres. So I'm going to start pouring the water and look closely at the 200 so I know when to stop. So now I've started pouring my water and I'm going to put it in and closely keep looking at the 200 line. So it's always important to look at your jug and I need to pour a little bit out for it to be at 200 exactly. So there it is there. I'm going to pour this out and see if I can measure 700 millilitres. Keeping a close eye on 200, um, 700, sorry, I'm going to start filling up my jug. Keeping an eye on my 700, try and look evenly at your jug so you know when to stop. Let's see. So I need a tiny bit more. And it is exactly at 700 millilitres. So now we've done a few tests together, I would like you to try and find different amounts in your measuring jug and see if you can do that. A challenge today would be if you can do 750 or 250, which is the line in between 200 and 300. Good luck.